Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to continue talking about um, my brushes collection and in a previous video I talked about the foundation brush and also the powder brush so in this video I'm going to start with the blush brush <laughs> um, ru <laughs> brushes to apply blush yeah, and also concealer brushes too. So let's get started. The first blush brush I bought is this angle brush by the Face Shop. It is a Korean brand, just like the Body Shop. The products are only somewhat more expensive than the drugstores, so it makes them good choices to think about and they still have nice quality just acceptable but the prices are definitely reasonable this angle brush is for apply blush and also to contour with the angle here you get better control with the blush on your cheekbone another angle brush is by Smashbox after I got this I realized that Ankle brushes must have hair harder, stiffer than other types of brushes in order to get a good result of blush along your cheekbone or the contour under your cheek. One thing is that because the hairs are stiffer, this brush can hold lots of powder, so you must tap off the excess before applying. The new favorite brush for blush application is this fame brush by Smashbox. I just bought it three weeks three weeks ago and now I love it so much. It can create fantastic blush on your cheek area, both the apple of your cheek and along the cheekbone. The hairs that fade out like this are just the shape for your cheek. And the brush doesn't hold too much powder so you won't have to worry that it will be too pink on your face. Makeup Forever has a similar brush but the size is bigger. It is not for the application of blush but for dust off the fallout around your eyes. However, you can also do this with this thin brush. In other words, you get multiple functions with one brush like this and that's what I value the most. And this Bobbi Brown Face Blender brush is really cute but so expensive. The hairs are just like the angle brushes I showed you a minute ago, stiff. So the first time I used it on my friend, the, brush, the blush was so pink that made her look like having a serious fever or something. Um, so it means that this brush can hold so much powder with just one sweep over the blush. Anyway, I I don't really adore this brush. After that accident, I seldom use it. I got this two-headed brush by Bobby Brown last May, and it was probably the best bargain ever. It was a promotion for their concealer products. I bought one corrector plus concealer and finish powder and got this brush for free. Not until later I found out this will be the wisest, wisest choice ever made because Bobbi Brown's brushes are so expensive. Two brushes like this means $1,900 on one end it is the concealer brush you can apply both corrector and concealer with it the synthetic materials it's good for the for this usage as for the other side the fluffier hair for the application of finished powder under your eyes the texture is just so soft i love this brush and i'm so afraid that <laughs> one day when this brush wears off because I'll have to buy two brushes 
Another concealer brush and finish powder brush are by Laura Maxieff. I also got them on their promotion of foundation primer. They are free too. This smaller one is equal to the Bobbi Brown concealer brush. I just show you. Yep. But I love Bobbi Brown's more. This brush is for applying powder. It's good to use alright, but simply fine. Again, I'm more used to Bobby Brown's. This is a MAC 221 brush with ambiguity in it. I was never quite sure with the usage of it. If anyone can tell me, please do. I used it a few times as eye shader, just to apply eyeshadow at a bigger area as a base. But I think it can also be used for finished powder after concealer. Recently, I bought a concealer brush by Smashbox. The shape is different from Bobbi Brown's and Laura Messier, as the head is wider instead of thin synthetic hair. It is about 10 US dollars cheaper than Bobbi Brown's, and that's why I was willing to buy another. Because of its price, it doesn't look good, but that doesn't mean it's not good. The hair does take concealer well, however, it is somehow often that, it, that this brush leaves streak marks on my nose, and it takes more time to refine that, and that's probably why a concealer brush usually looks like a puppy browns. Thank you.